Now this illustration uh, illustrates nine power limited fire alarm circuits in accordance with 760.2 where they're defined. Now notice uh, uh, if we review note one, uh, we're told to see part two in article 760 and we could also pick up more information in figure 9-13 if we wanted to uh, get into a little uh, further review of such circuits. Now notice the, the circuitry is uh, uh, MC or AC cable. Uh, it's feeding outside alarms, alarm bells. Uh, simple drawings, but showing you basically uh, what this circuit might consist of. And then, of course, we have a security alarm master control center. And usually they're mounted down, you know, like in a hotel, for example. They'll be mounted down uh, close to usually the counter where they uh, uh, register people and so forth in the hotel. Then we'll have a room and uh, this security alarm master control circuit uh, will monitor the floors. Uh, if a fire should occur, uh, 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 if they had any kind of a problem on the floor, and usually, uh, you know, uh, if you had, say, a high rise, they may have five floors that a circuit will monitor. Then they'll have five more floors that a circuit to monitor. And they're all tied back to this security alarm uh, master control uh, center area. Now notice the cables that we use to run to these individual devices to sound the alarm for fire, smoke, different things that might occur, uh, water, maybe a sprinkler system goes off or something. Notice in the NEC loop to the left of the illustration, cable markings, we can find those cable markings in table 760.176G. We could find cable marking 760.179L. Uh, and we could have uh, cable uh, uses and substitution uh, type cables. Uh, in 760.154a, which we could use instead of the above cables. Now, the cables are selected either for plenum use, riser use, or general purpose use. Sometimes the contractor will select a plenum cable because they can route them in any manner they want to route them without making any joints except at the points where they connect to terminals and so forth. But the main thing about figure 4-18, it lists non-power limited fire circuits uh, in 760.2, but it also lists some of the markings and substitute cables that could be used, and it shows the uh, security alarm master control center with the circuits, and it uh, routes out two uh, various uh, points, floors, and so forth, to monitor. It may be just a single story building, but the center is put where it can sound alarms and people uh, in charge will know that there's a problem in a certain area or floor. And that's what your figure basically 4-18 is illustrating.